Hello everyone. Um, first I want to apologize to those who have seen my previous videos, the very few of them that I've made. Um, I know I've said that I was going to begin my teaching or my testimony And I know there is some through comments that I know have waited for me to begin. Those who have heard what I've said and what, you know, those who have been lifted up and comforted. It's so hard to know where to begin. Um, See, this is a story, the story of mine has went on for closer to 25 years. And in all those 25 years, all I could do was get by daily and go through life and, and what I, you know, what I had to go through, what I had to learn to bring me to where I am now. So I've been just storing things up. Um... I don't know how to begin, you know, sometimes I think I should start my story and just tell how things all, you know, work together. For all things work out to good for those who love God. Because um, I know so many of you are just beginning where I was so long ago. That's what I must assume. Um, and there's some out there on YouTube, you know, there's some who's really seeking and going through the same things that I've went through. And there's others who just spit words out of their mouth, having never had the heart to truly seek for, for God, for His glory. They just continue to speak what man has told to them. And they hold to that, having no understanding of Scripture, having never been tried in the fire, the fire of the Spirit. You know, here's how it began. Was as a child, you know, I knew Jesus. He was my only friend. I would speak to him. You know, he was, he was always there. And all I knew of him was love. And, you know, I had that in my heart and mind. And it wasn't until I married into a Pentecostal family, <coughs> excuse me, um, began the church and they began to tell me how <laughs> wicked I am and, you know, And teach me a God that I had never known, that was contrary to everything my heart had known and believed of Him. You know, but this is what made everyone believed. I knew in, in myself that this is how people saw it, that I never saw Him like that. So I went through a conflict over this, you know. Because um, I was naive and I didn't know the evils in the world because I couldn't see them because I saw good. And I believed in good. Um, and I haven't, I haven't thought out anything that I'm going to say. I just know I have to begin to get these things out of me. You know... Um, and I've waited a long time because I did not want to teach another, not my children and no one, any lie. I wanted the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. Teach me God so I can teach the, my children and whoever else will listen. I would not dare open my mouth and teach someone a lie in the name of God. 
I had to first learn it, and I know that's why, why I'm here. That's what my whole life has been about. That's what I was told from the beginning of my calling or my quest. Or And now, 20-some years later, all the things that I was told, I'm beginning to, I understand. And it was always true. What I heard from the beginning was always true. It was the lies of man that had been put into me that was, that was false. That was what warred with the truth that God had revealed to me. See, after many years of walking in this confusion, I just came to a point where I wanted to know. And I went to, I, I, I went to him with the faith that I had. And, and all I knew was Jesus and all that the church had told to me, although it was all confusion. And if I had picked up a Bible before then, I was like anyone else. You know, it was only confusion. The confusion was here. Because you already have that confusion, so you can't understand the things of the Word. So when I went to God, and with all my heart, all my soul, and all my strength, I asked Him to teach me. I took the little faith that I had left. I never doubted God, and I never doubted Jesus. I just did not know who they was now. I didn't know... I. I was as most people <laughs> are. And then I just began to read. And, and I wasn't really much of a reader then. I, you know, like I said before in another video, I didn't have a high education and I struggled with reading before. But I had to do it. I just something, I went to God and then I went to the Bible asking him to to go to guide me to teach me to let me not be deceived because I've been told deception deception there you know deceptions just everywhere and then the book began to be alive to me I read and I heard goodness I can't go back to the exact thing maybe maybe one day I can really sit down and go back in myself to remember exactly, you know, what first struck me, <laughs> struck me, um, but it was all good. I heard the good news, and I didn't know at that time that the gospel actually means the good news. I didn't know till later when I found out that's what the gospel means is the good news. That was a confirmation right there, because all I had heard was good. But yet, making a long story short, you know, you'd come across scriptures. And because of what is set in your mind, what man had put into you, the doctrines of man and the false understanding of man, I couldn't accept the truth. I heard it and I knew it was true. But, that, but those doctrines... would not let me accept what I was hearing, although I knew it was truth. And, and, and just a note on that, to look back now from where I'm at, to look at who was confusing me, you look at, and I don't speak against Christianity, I don't speak, you know, I don't know what I can call myself now. God has not... I, I don't know, what because I mean, even the Christians wasn't called Christians from the beginning. They was disciples, apostles, you know, followers of Christ. Um, but now, looking back, you see all the denominations of Christianity and the confusion, and other religions also. And they can, you know, they all have their sex. They all have their denominations. Um, in Christianity, in Islam, 
in Buddhism, in all of them. They all have their denominations that contradict one another. Um, and to see that clearly now, that cannot be truth. You cannot, just in the Christianity alone, you know, they're all pointing fingers at each other, claiming that they're, you know, that they have the answer and that their doctrine is right, but it's all lumped up as Christianity. They all call themselves Christians, but they do not teach the same things. They teach things contrary from one another. This thing cannot be truth. Or is that where the Apostle Paul talks about till we come in the unity of one faith? I do believe all things will work out for God. And I do believe for good to those who love God. And I do believe his purpose and will will be done. And I do believe that those who have truly sought him, who have been strong enough and desire to know him enough that they have stepped up and looked for him, those that just like myself, who have struggled for the truth, things that I know now I understand because I see clearly now what was hindering me lies hindered me from accepting the truth and I don't understand all things yet I mean as I hear and as I read I clearly understand scripture I clearly understand when I hear the word of God And I know it's time for me to give what's been given to me to you and to, to all who want to hear, to want to know, who have been through the same things that I've been through. For God seeks such to worship him and to know him. You know, God is in my every thought, in everything I do. And I'm not perfect. I still, I will tell you, I'm a, I smoke my cigarettes. And I, but now my God has put it in my heart to not want to do the things. You know, I've never wanted or desired evil. I've never had pleasure in doing anything evil. You know, or anything not becoming of godliness and that I would not want to do if I knew God was right here with me. I would not. But that's what his love does. And he sh when he shows you and teaches you and, and guides you. And when you come to understanding these things, then you want to put them off. Then you want to do what is good in his eyes. And then you, you know, and you're also angry with those who, well, that's a whole other story, but, um, give me one second. My phone was just ringing. I'm going to go see because it might be an important call. Um, I have many more things to say. This is only the beginning. I'll be back. Actually, it kind of it wasn't who I thought it was on the phone, but it was um, kind of an important call. Um, it was actually Alan Williams, I believe, in UK. Um, he has a YouTube channel. Um, speaks a lot against the um, Jehovah's Witnesses. <clears throat> Which I keep missing that call. I guess they do a group chat. You know, they call. He calls and talks. A bunch of them get together on the telephone and and talk. Hello, Alan. How are you? But anyway, where was I? Um, that was part of my quest for truth. I remember when I heard the good news and. But I had all the conflict going on because, you know, it was a war. It was a war between the flesh and the spirit, the doctrines of man and the doctrines of God. 
and I had none to help me. You know, here I was, and, and naive, uneducated, young woman, you know, had one child when this all began. Um, and, you know, those around me who, you know, I was told by my mother-in-law at the time that, you know, I had been studying the Word, and she told me that she didn't know why I read that. Um, I couldn't understand it because I don't have the Holy Ghost. And another thing, my ex-husband, which I hate, I don't want to say nothing evil against him because I know, you know, why they said the things they said is because that's what they was raised and taught by man to believe. You know, but he actually spit on my face and called me Beelzebub. Um, so I had no one to help me. I just, prayer and believing in the things that God had showed me. And I called everyone in the, every denomination in the yellow pages, in the phone book. You know, talking to preachers, ministers, rabbis, I called Jewish, I called everyone, trying to find someone who could help me. None of them had an answer. You know, when I told them, it's a lie, this book is a lie, you know, It will speak to those who will listen. His word is in there. I don't, I don't care how they've corrupted the word or mistranslated the word. I even believe, I mean, I always stood for the King James. But I also knew that if, if all one had was an, one of the newer translations that and was true and would seek for, for the truth for God, um, God will reveal his word to them even in those other books. Because the word of God is not bound, and it is not bound in a book. The spirit is not bound. You know, I know I'm getting all off track and everything, but um, try to stay on track, Nancy. So I had none to help. Um, oh, and then you'd come across the witnesses. I remember when they'd come, and I'd ask them questions when they, you know, knock on my door. And they would answer correctly. So there was a time I was leaning towards the witnesses because they answered many questions. Right to my understanding at the time. But then there would be something, and I haven't went back, you know, so there would be something that I'd come across that didn't quite fit. So I'd continue seeking, going on with my life, you know, trying to take care of it. God was always there. I mean, it was always first, no matter. I couldn't get away from the desire to want the truth. That was my greatest desire, was to know God through all of it, through everything that I've been through in my life. And I know my faith that I have and had, even when it was low, was the only thing that got me through to now. And he gave me that faith. But um, then I remember coming to, I remember the first time, this was probably 10 years ago, when I first read the Quran. And, and, and like the Bible, I've never read Bible front to back. I've read many chapters and books front to back. And I've studied, you know, many books over and over, many chapters over and over. I've studied and studied the Bible, but never front to back. Um, but the Quran, I did. I read well, back to front, and I found much truth in the Quran. And it seemed like the truth was there, but without the confusion. And even as for Christ, it... For Jesus, it even more fit to what I was believe I was showed. Um, but then there was some things with Islam I, that didn't, you know, that didn't fit either, and I wasn't willing to believe any lie.
So all I could do was continue to have my faith and hope and, and seek to find him, trusting no man. Um, and it's brought me to where I am today, and I have many more things to say, but um, to see clearly what was causing the confusion all along was not the word of God, for God is not a God of confusion, but the word of man, the understanding of men. You know, all the denominations come from one little lie being mixed into the truth, one false understanding of scripture. And most of it comes from ta taking verses out of context. You know, taking a words for face value and, and having no understanding of what is meant. Those who have heard have set to the seal that God is true, not man. And I know and have been persuaded by God through my life that he is with those who will seek him. He will never leave a heart that has diligently sought him. When you've put your trust in him, when you have believed, when you have believed that truth, when you have desired to know the truth, you have been sealed then. You... Because he knows we're, we're not the ones that's supposed to be strong. You did your part by looking for him. By desiring a true heart from a true heart. And that true heart has to know, has to block out everything man has taught to you. And, and you have to trust God. And have that faith that you can go to God and God will answer you. But if you have preset ideas that man has told you. It will war. They will war against you. I hope something that I've said has made sense. Um, I found other brothers and sisters, few of them, and just like myself, I am not complete. I am still learning, but I know that they've had the heart, the same heart and desire to know God, and they have sought him too. There's a few of them on YouTube, and hello to all of you. Um, I truly uh, do apologize for not coming and not speaking to people, you know, even comments. I mean, I've, I have a life, and I've just went through some really rough times, and I'm trying to get back on track, or on the right track, I guess, putting him first. And part of getting everything back together is, and on the right track, is beginning to give what I have been given over the years. I know it's time now. If I am uncertain about scripture, I will not I will not speak on that. I will not tell you that I know something and try to explain something that I will tell you the things that I do know. Um, with no offense to anyone else, there's only, including myself, there's one brother who I, who's the closest so far who everything he has said that I have watched in his videos is what I have been taught in at least the videos that I've watched of him and if we do have a contradiction or if I do come to find that I will talk to him about that I will comment about that and question him about that but um, and he that brother is um, I believe his name's Jeff um, I just started watching his videos a few days ago um, prove Your Faith is his channel. 
he has heard the same testimony that I have heard. There is others who have, but none has summed it up like this man has. He is, I mean, it's, everything he says is a confirmation to what I've been through, what I've known, what I've come to know. Again, that is Jeff at Prove Your Faith on YouTube. One second, please. Well, um, I don't know, remember where I was at, but um, I had a call. I have to go take care of something real fast. So I'm going to close this video. Um, and I want to say on my videos that my videos are only for those who desire to know God and to seek God. I want to help another to not have to go through the things that I went through. And I believe that is God's plan. And why? Because I've known my whole life that my life is for Him. I've known that I would come to understand the things. I have many more things to say. Father willing. For now I, I'll go, but I will be back soon, I pray. Have faith in God. Trust in Him enough to take your heart to Him. A true heart will, will, He will guide a true heart. You have to keep the faith and the hope. I hope that I can help. For now, I'll go. Be well, and blessings to you. Bye-bye. Actually, I want to say one more thing. Um, when watching videos and reading comments, I want you to take note of the heart that comes out of the people in the videos and in their comments. A lot of times that you'll find comments of, of reprovers, those who reprove, um, just saying, I mean, there's no love in the words that they say. Um, forgive me, I'm out of breath. I was just, just ran down the street and to my other house and ran back, and so I'm out of breath. But um, they reprove the things that they do not know. And it's not coming from their heart. It's coming from their own gut. And you can tell by how they speak that this thing isn't coming from the mind and heart of God. I'll say more on that later. I just wanted to... I hope it came out right. Um... I'll go with that. I'm sorry, but um, <laughs> sorry. Um, I've lost track of my thought. I've been called away, and I have so much to do that my brain is just gone right now. I hope I said something right. Again, be at peace, and blessings of the Father be upon you. Bye for now.